Hello everyone, this is Adam with The Weekend Hiker. I'm out here today to show you how to make a poor man's lantern. So I'm sorry if I sound funny. I'm getting over a little bit of a head cold. Hopefully it won't last too much longer. So just to give you an idea of some things that are coming up on my channel, I'm heading out to the Green River in Utah for a four day, three night whitewater rafting trip. And uh, I'll be putting that together when I get back in town. Also, I have a, a shout out video I'm gonna be putting together while I'm out there. So today I wanted to show you how to make a poor man's lantern. Let's get started. Okay, so you'll need a few things to make the poor man's lantern. First off, you're gonna need a metal coffee tin. You can find these at any uh, grocery store. Go for about three or four bucks. You'll need some uh, rubbing alcohol. It comes in a variety of percentages, 50%, um, uh, 91 percent and then there's also 70 percent which I don't have um, the lower the percentage the more water it has in it and the less effective it is it won't burn as long uh, or nor as well if you have your choice try to minimum of 70 but I recommend the 91 percent for best results also I would recommend some bargain basement toilet paper you don't need anything high-end you're just using this for your wick I've forgotten all about doing this until I watched the uh, video the other day by the Bushcraft 50. He was doing a survival stove that just kind of jogged my memory. So I used to do this uh, years ago when I would go down to the campgrounds at uh, Panama City Beach. I need a roll of toilet paper and if you see inside there's a cardboard tube. Uh, you need to take that out. So just work it around in a circle to try to get the, the glue off of it. And it should come right out pretty simple. Kind of fold it in like so. And then stick that down in the coffee can. So we're gonna take our alcohol and just douse the whole toilet paper roll. All right, we got it all poured in. Seal her up and just discard. Now it's time to light this. It's very important that when you light this, you don't put your hand over it and light it. Otherwise, the flame will jump up and burn your hand and you, trust me, you don't want that. The safest way to do it is uh, tilt it about like so, kind of hold it off and the, the vapors coming up will pretty much ignite it just like that. So with one bottle of rubbing alcohol, I can usually get at least a uh, few hours burn time on one of these. Uh, real nice to have one of these if you're just sitting out on the porch having a beer or whatever. Or if you're out uh, car camping and you don't feel like making a campfire and you just want something like this. So when you're ready to snuff this out, uh, I'm going to use this metal cup here. It's roughly the same size as this. As long as it's the same size or bigger, this should do the trick. Just uh, pop it right down, and out she goes. So before you put the lid back on top of this container, you want to make sure that you give it a, f a few minutes for it to cool off, otherwise this will melt to the top here and it makes a big mess. So I'd like to thank y'all for watching my video today on how to make a poor man's lantern. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below. Just want to say I appreciate y'all watching and thanks for your support. This is Adam with the Weekend Hiker saying take care, God bless, and keep on hiking.